I've never been in a state of blah. Like, for a while now, I've been like in the doldrums. A state of perpetual meh and repetition. I've been meeting the polls, but as they say, life happens and I will start a video and never really finish it. Um, a lot of things keep coming up, like work related, I gotta travel, I gotta, you know, like things I wanna uh, videotape. Not videotape, um, we're like in a digital age now. More like I, things I need to record, but it's just no time for me to go ahead and do it. So I recently thought about why did I first record myself and post a video of me for the world to see. And I think my first video was a tint removal video, but those early days was like, <laughs> I really don't know why I did it at the time. And the funny thing is the world will classify me as an introvert who would rather chill at home and binge some bad Steven Seagal movies. Like, that's a fun time for me, just bad movies. It's, <laughs> it's just my thing, fun fact. Anyways, it came down to finding out that I was like sick and in the chances I pass, I doubt it, but you never know. Another broccoli related death. But I thought broccoli was... Oh yes, one of the deadliest plants on earth. Why, it tries to warn you itself with its terrible taste. <laughs> I wanted there to be some imprint of me lingering around for my kids and family to remember me by. And also knowing that the videos I post were impactful in helping people um, going through whatever they need to go through or help them do a simple task or something of that sort. Main thing is like, don't let anything hamper you. Just go ahead and go for it. The research, go for it. Um, you learn a lot of stuff on the way. It might be wrong, might be right, but you just learn from those mistakes and keep moving. All in all, it's about sharing of experiences that help us all progress. Anyways, the only wrench in this I'd always thought about is like, what if YouTube just go ahead and like deletes all of YouTube? Like literally sets everybody's thing on private and they only want the password to view anything. And I'm like, yeah, that put a whole wrench in everything. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Well, through this doldrum period, one thing that really like kind of sparked me and moved me out of this little repetitive track, I would say, is meme, a particular meme. And one of the main thing is, I'm on social media, it's just meme, memes. I just watch meme pages. That's my thing, I like memes. The particular meme I'm talking about shows the pictures of the Olsen twins, they're like posing or whatever, and it was like, the Olsen twins look like one of them knows when you die and the other one knows how. And I was like sitting there like, wow. That really put like a spark in me for some weird reason. I'm like sitting there like, what if I knew that I would like pass in like a week from now at 11.58 a.m. Eastern time or whatever. I know that I'd have a lot of things, a lot of experiences that I still didn't want to do, and it would be so little time for me. So it's almost like, oh, you gotta live each day like it's your last. It's a cliche saying, but it's technically kind of true. Cause you mess around like, okay, I might pass tomorrow, today, like, shoot, I should've did this, I should've did that. I knew a lot of people just get a credit card to max the heck out of that thing, but either way, you just have to like live your life more purposeful. One key thing that came up in this I thought was like, you have to plan what you want to do or someone else will plan it for you. And it's so easy for us to go ahead and slip into that mindset of uh, you just find yourself doing stuff you didn't even want to do. Like, man, I just want to chill. But I end up here, I'm over here, I don't know, help somebody <laughs> move or something for pizza. But uh, anyways, I digress. You shouldn't be helping anybody move for pizza after you hit 30 like the back ain't the same no more well i hope i inspired someone a bit and gave a little glimpse into my life per se i really don't really do videos like this um especially since some of these talking points even people who know me don't even know about this stuff i mean half of them don't even know i have a youtube channel i just might need to do more videos like this it feels pretty good um it's like therapy but you don't pay for it and you don't have someone just sitting there like nodding and like look at it like, like yo what am i gonna get paid I mentioned earlier about some unfinished videos well i'm releasing them in one video next and yeah don't judge me i had no real direction with them and yeah 
just post them up. So hopefully it will help illustrate how aimless I've been with my life so far. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for listening to my little rant right here. Uh, leave a comment and subscribe. And yeah, see you on the next one.